Bar Brief. I hope everybody's having a great day. My day is a okay. Uh, AI. There's a lot of talk about AI nowadays. And when I say AI, I'm not talking about Allen Iverson. All right. But in some circles, Allen Iverson is talked about today. So I'm not going to discredit AI from this conversation. But AI, there's a lot of talk about AI and people, you know, like wonder what's going to happen. Artificial intelligence is taking over. They got AI doing songs now. They got Jay-Z songs, you know what I'm saying, just coming up with songs using a voice. And the funny thing about that is, is just because it's their voice, people would listen, you know what I'm saying, and be, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, you know, which, I mean, it has to be some kind of patent on your voice or something once you make it to the level of being Jay-Z. But AI can never completely take over everything, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to interaction with humans because of the human factor. AI doesn't have a heart. AI doesn't care. You know, you can program AI to do whatever AI is going to do, but AI will evolve into what AI is. And that will not evolve into a human. So you're always going to need humans because of the human factor. You know, robots can't control everything, but they can can control a lot. So you future uh, dwellers learn how to uh, control, you know what I'm saying, the computers at your disposal, all right, uh, if you have a tool in your toolbox, master the tool in your toolbox, all right, they say your tools are only as, as good as the master, so, if you have tools, your phone, your computer, whatever it may be, a hammer, a screwdriver, whatever it may be, master those tools, and those tools will always be good to you, uh, when the truth is debatable, all right. When the truth is debatable, it's debatable, all right. For those of y'all who like to debate or don't like to debate, all right, I could really care less, you know. Uh, I'm not going to debate too much because that's not my position in life, especially not a point of view. You shouldn't debate a point of view, but sometimes the truth, there's lines. You know, gray areas, you know what I'm saying? So things are debatable. Uh, I like to say that facts are facts, but in the reality of it, the matter of it is, is do you really know? If you wasn't there, can you really say that that's what really went on? I mean, there are a lot of cover-ups in history, right? Believe it or not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at one point in time, you know, Systems were very corrupt and very biased towards certain people. So, things got covered up a lot. Imagine, take that back in time. You know what I'm saying? When they was recording things on mountains or tombs or whatever. You don't think things were smudged? If they were smudged in the 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, <laughs> they were smudged in the 18s. All right, the 17s, the 15s. All right, so with that being said, sometimes the truth is uh, very debatable. But there's a saying that says, choose your battles wisely. All right, uh, small talk can turn to big gains. You know, I, I'm not really big for having deep conversations unless we're having personal relations. All right, why? Because I don't like to waste my time. But small talk, especially in business settings, is a great building block, all right? With small talk, you can realize, am, am I going to continue conversing with this person? Can I build with this person? If I have ideas to build outside of where I met this person, you know what I'm saying? Uh, can I say hi to this person during lunchtime? Small things, you know what I'm saying, allow you to understand uh, how far to take a relationship with a person, all right, some relationships with people, they start and end in the same day, all right, even if you see them every day, some relationships start and end at the same day, all depending on mannerisms, uh, and so forth, you know, 
everybody's not meant to be buds. That's just the truth of the matter. And, and that's okay. Everybody's different. The world needs uh, conflicting uh, ideas in order to grow. So, small talk. All right. It starts somewhere. Think about it. Your interview is usually small talk. All right. And the game is getting a job. That's the big game. All right. The small gain is learning from that experience of being interviewed. Uh, strengths and weaknesses. All right. When I first moved to Florida, I was chasing work. After I stopped working for FEMA, uh, I was chasing work. I met a guy up in West Palm Beach. All right. We called him Zoe. Zoe is a, a slang term for a, a, a Haitian. Haitian uh people right but uh zo i was doing work for him and i met him in west palm beach uh one of the golden nuggets that he gave me when i was working for him was uh hire somebody if you're gonna hire people if you start a business then hire hire people or team up with people whose strength is your weakness, all right? And it will take you guys over the top every time and vice versa. Now, the key to that is is understanding your weaknesses, knowing your weaknesses, uh, isolating your weaknesses, and allowing the person that you teamed up with, hired, whatever it may be, to shine using their strength instead of having an ego problem and be like, no, I... I'm I'm the guy. Whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? Check your ego. You know, find people that are stronger than you, all right, to help. Uh with that being said, one person's man one person is, is the same. One person's trash is another like one man's trash is another man's treasure. What does it say? One person's trash is another person's treasure. Alright. But some people they 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 don't like you know they they hoard stuff all right it'll be trashed in but they hoard it you know what I'm for some reason they're like dude give it up all right you don't even want it for real you know and i keep i'll turn that even to personal relationships all right there'll be people in relationships just to, just because don't even want to be with the person you know what i'm saying i always say that i'm not going to be that type of person if i realize that me and a person aren't gelling together aren't going to be together, I don't foresee us being together, then I'm quick to cut it, all right? And I'm not quick to cut it because I'm being mean. I'm just quick to cut it because I'm not trying to hold somebody else from receiving their treasure, all right? Have a great day.